Hey, hey, people, I just wanted to take a little bit of your time today to just go over something. Um, this is uh, something that's very important. My name is Sean, a.k.a. The Real Estate Guy or Mr. Real Estate. Um, and I want to sit here and talk to you about interest rates. What's going on and how is it influencing so many people not to purchase, not to sell, not to sell and repurchase? All right. Now, let me explain something to you about interest rates. All right. I want you to first see what I have on my screen here. A survey in 2024 uh, was conducted with home buyers are still waiting for lower rates. All right. Now, first thing I want to let you guys know, the rates at 3% or lower, that's unusual. And the only reason why that happened was during the climate of having a pandemic happen, the normal investors would not buy the product that backs real estate. So the federal government was buying it. And when they're buying it, they lowered the rates. They lowered the rates to get people to continue to buy. All right, now pay attention to what I said. They lowered the rates to get people to continue to buy houses or else the economy was going to go off the cliff. Many times when you look at economy, the economies, it starts with real estate. Real estate is the number one product in this country. I'm going to break it down to you. Number one product, right? Beyond everything else. All right, so this survey is telling you why are people so gripped up? Because see, they're still thinking in their mind, 3%. They're still thinking about a low interest rate. Like that's going to happen again. The only way it happens again is something disastrous happens. And the federal government has to step in and try to save everything again. Likelihood of that happening is probably slim to none. All right. It's been, and look, in this article, it's been two years since the Federal Reserve first began it's tightening cycle with a series of rate hikes, right? They got to raise the rates to try to tighten things, right? When you get it up to seven, to all of us, that seems high. To most of us, it seems high. Not to me. Because I know historically, the highest rate has been 18%. Now, yes, the argument is at 18%, the cost of the house was probably like $20,000. Still a significant amount of money coming out of a person's pocket, right? So it all bounces out. 6.6, 6 6.3 is what I'm aware of. That started in like the 2000s, right? So at seven, it's not high. But to many folks, it is high because they never seen you know, seven. They only heard about the three, right? And what I mean by heard about, because some of them, some people that didn't buy, they didn't take advantage of that opportunity at that, at that particular time. Normal rates is going to be five, somewhere around there. Medium rates, right? It's going to be about five. I'm going to be honest with you. But so many people are missing out on uh, something else. And I'm going to break this down. I'm going to show you this. I'm going to show you this snippet of a video that I made or I'm going to reduplicate it right here but I want you to understand these are national numbers but these numbers are based on something else if you look here this is a survey this is a survey amongst lenders I'm going to put it to you this way this is where these numbers come from it's very difficult to uh, to give you cookie cutter because it's based on credit and other factors. All right. So I want you to see here, where does this data come from? Okay. So this is how this data is sourced. All right. Now, all right, my, my mouse is, I think it's hourglassing a little bit here. So bear with me, please. Now, I want you to notice something. I want you, I would like for you to notice something very key. Let me see if I can get it to go back up here. 
All right, so you got a 30 year, 15 year, 30 jumbo, seven, six arm, 30 year FHA, 30 year VA, right? Now, if you notice it, it tracks the changes, right? So 30 year fixed, seven one is seven fourteen. Look at how it goes down. Right? Look at how it goes down. It fluctuates, right? All right, so that's one thing that I want you guys to understand. It fluctuates. It goes up and it goes down. It it bounces all throughout the day. All right. Now, take a look. This is where you see it. All right. So the top tier scenario is used as a baseline. 75 LTV, that's loan to value, 780 credit score. So if that's not you, this does not apply. Your numbers can be different based on a national survey, okay? So I want you to understand that first, right? Um, good way to really uh, get it is to sit down with a real good lender and let that lender uh, spell it out for you. Now, if you notice estimated principles and interest, loan amount 250, mortgage calculator. But in this calculator, most likely they won't have the taxes in there, all right? Now, Wednesday's trends. Look at this, positive, minimal, negative, right? MLB price, MBS prices have increased slightly today. This may result in a minimum uh, positive impact on mortgage rates, all right? Now, notice... It's picking up from Pennsylvania. I'm not even in Pennsylvania, but you can you can see the rates. All right, so let me see if I can pull it up. Uh, let me see if I can pull up historical rates. And I may not, I may not pull this up totally. I may just share the video that I did already, where I can break this down for you. Yeah, I'll do that because my mouse is moving slow. All right, so let me get down to the nitty gritty. All right, so the reason why you shouldn't pay attention and wait for the rates is simply this. Home prices, home prices are jumping. What do I mean jumping? The home prices right now keeps increasing. So if it goes up by 5.9%, right? And one month, that change could be $30,000, $40,000, right? It could jump that much, right? So when you come down to financing, Let's let's see if we can do this. I'm just gonna play around with this calculator just to show you. All right, so we're gonna do four hundred thousand. Now notice how the how the payments automatically adjust, right? And that's about average, right? So I just want to show you that. I ain't going to jump, jump into the calculator, right? I'm just showing you how it changes, right? Most people, I would say, you might want to do a 30-year fixed rate, all right? So let's say if it's at 7%, right? 7%, let's say this one is at 6.4. These are the difference in the payments, right? What I want you to see is this, though. So we're going to take out four. Let's say the house jumps 50000 because you waited. Do you see the significance of that jump? You went from 26 to 29, almost 3000 This is where people are not catching on. So even if the rate jumps down, right? Let me see if I can bring it up. We're going to play with the numbers. Okay. And this is where you're going to see the meat and the potatoes of what I'm explaining. 400. We're not going to do a down payment of 20. 
let's do a first time home buyer number. Now, if we use that, we use this rate right there, 6.990, right? 30 year term. That's what most mortgages are gonna be, right? We're gonna say homeowners are a thousand. But Delaware, that's a little high, but we're gonna use it just in this example. Let's say you pick one with no HOA, which is possible, right? The taxes, you see this calculator is different than many calculators that you guys would go through online. Many calculators online won't have the taxes. All right, so right there, you're at 2928. $400,000, $14,000 down payment. We'll talk about how down payments can be uh, can be funded through first-time homebuyer grants or other uh, assistant programs. All right, but we're going to use that. Now, let's, let's play. Let's play, play. All right, so we're going to play, play. Just so you guys get to see numbers. $450,000. Okay. We're gonna change this. Let's say it goes down to 5.9. Okay. Did you save much? You didn't save much. You basically saved, you know, relatively uh 40 some dollars. Right. That's all. Because you waited. Right. But look, let me show you something. If the price. 400. Six point six nine. You're at 26. I mean, 28. Right? Because it's 6.69. Okay. Now, if you took that 400, and this is where we talk about refinancing, right? So you go under contract right now at the 6.69, right? Payment is 28.51. Now, before I continue talking, only purchase a price purchase a house that you can afford. So if your ideal payment is not $28.51, let's say it's this. That's a loan your payment, right? 25. Now, let me show you something. If the rate drops down to 5.99 later on, just look at that. This is how you save. See, because you're financing 350, right? But if it jumps, if the house price jumps by 50,000, you're not saving. And here's why you're financing four. 400,000 versus 400,000 versus 350,000 right at a 500 at 5.99 right so it's smarter right because look if your per if your purchase price I'm not going to confuse you if your purchase price is 400 you got to prove for 400 and the interest rate is 6.69. There go your payment. Estimated, right? We're going to say estimated because some factors that could change these taxes could be a lot higher or lower, right? But if the house jumps 450, All right, you're at 31. If the rate is now 450, but the rate comes down to 500, 
99. 5.99. You only save a couple of dollars. It is not really impacting uh, the savings that you are looking for, right? Even at 5%, let's look at 5%. It's not dropping. But look, if you're purchased at 400 and now the rate drops from, let's do it again, 6.69%. You'll be at 2851. Maybe you can't afford 2851. Right? So that's the wrong purchase number. That's the wrong sales number that you should go under contract for. But look, let me show you what happens. If the rate drops all the way down, it's only going to drop probably like point uh point two five, maybe somewhere around there. So on a, the rates have been as low as 6.36, right? And if it drops by 0.25, you at 6.11, right? So let's do 6.11. And that's based on a credit score of, you know, 700 or something, right? So from 6.69, Right at that 400, you're at 28.51. If you change that to 6.11, you're only dropping a hundred dollars, right? So that's not a significant savings, right? So if it drops to 5.25, save about 200 and some dollars, right? All right. But I will focus on a purchase price at today's interest rates, right? 6.69, if that's what the rate is. We, we're estimating right now. See, that's 28.51. If you can't afford that, right, you got to play with this number. Let's say 360. This may be the number that you can play with. Now, it's also another thing that, that we don't talk about a lot, right? But it is, it is a way to, it is a way to, it is a way to buy down the rate. What does that do? It changes the rate, whatever they're quoting you, to a lower, uh, to a lower number. All right. But don't take these, don't take, you know, what they're saying out there. You have to talk to a loan officer and figure out uh, what are the rates and it's based on credit score. Let me see if I got anything from my guys today. All right, let me see the last thing I got from my guys today. All right, so on Tuesday, on the 25th, that was the last time I got some. Rates were like six point, let's see here, 6.3, no, 6.3, 6.4, 6.5, 6.6, 6.7, 6.8, 6.9, 6.10, 6.11, 6.12, 6.13, 6.14, 6.15, 6.16, 6.17, 6.18, 6.19, 6.20, 
You see that right there? You see how that number is 2619? 390 versus 360 versus 6.5 6 6.5 you'd have been at 25.95 but if you did um 90 at 27 and if the rate is 6% if it goes down to there, you didn't save anything. You actually pay them more. So the strategy should be buy at this current price structure, right? Somewhat what we do as agents is try to get the price a little bit lower. So we'll do that when it's possible, when it's not possible because of what's gonna happen is this. When, when this survey, Right. This survey tells you that everyone. Right. Well, I ain't going to say everyone because I don't know how many people will survey, but it's a lot of folks that will wait. And when they wait, what will happen is they go, all oh, going to hit the market at the same time. When they hit the market at the same time. Right. This is the number that now becomes your enemy. Because the price is going to be driven up. It's going to be driven up. And you're going to end up paying more. You're going to pay more. Strategy should be go now before everyone else jumps in the market. It's like, how can I explain it? It's like the toilet tissue thing that happened during the pandemic. See, if people had bought toilet tissue before, it wouldn't have been that frenzy and the price wouldn't have been jumping the way it was jumping. Same thing like with eggs. The egg price is jumping. Right. And when people cool off and don't buy it, then it tries to come back down to a normal rate. So if you got any questions about real estate, reach out to me. Just ask. I'll be delighted to answer. But hey, if any of you folks are thinking about buying, let's stop thinking about it. If you're in a position ready to go, you got to pull the trigger before everybody else gets into this market. Um, because if you could buy at, let's say, 400, lender said you could go at 400, that 400 is going to go up. It's going to be a surge. It's going to be a price increase. Um, so you want to avoid having a whole bunch of competition around you. You got a great house to sell? I would sell it now. I would sell it now. Put a contingency around the sale that is dependent upon you uh, finding a home. All right? You can't find a home, you stay in your home. All right? That's the way you can structure it. Um, if you guys are like kicking the tires, I wouldn't kick the tires. People have lost out from since the pandemic 2020. They were able to buy and then now that cost them went up even more. So that same house they could have bought in 2020, the price then changed. It's actually higher now. So let's try to avoid that and, and get you in something that uh, you can afford. This is the most important thing. Purchase price and that monthly. If you can afford that monthly for, let's say, uh, I would say maybe two years. Two years tops. Because we're thinking that the rate will change unless something crazy happens. Um, but the rate is being signaled that the rate most likely will go down. All right. So I'll talk to you. Have a good one.